If you're an art lover in Nacogdoches, there is at least one way to get your art fix. Located on the corner of Main and Church Street is the Ed and Gwen Cole Art Center, which hosts many art galleries for and often by the people of Nacogdoches, including a most recent exhibit of photographs focusing on the work of architect Diedrich Rolfs. I got the chance to speak with the photographer of the buildings himself for more details. I'm Christopher Talbot, a professor of photography in the School of Art at Stephen F. Austin State University. I've spent the last couple of years photographing uh, some of the architecture uh, designed and built by uh, Diedrich Rolfs here in Nacogdoches. Many of the buildings that Rolfs built, featured in the gallery, are actually houses that are owned by local Nacogdoches residents. In fact, several of the people in attendance were actually looking at photographs of their own homes. The photographs were taken by Talbot over the last couple of years, and all will be used in a forthcoming book on Diedrich Rolfs, written by Dr. Jeer Jackson, a professor of history at SFA. Titled Diedrich Rolfs Designing Modern Nacogdoches, the book is being published by the SFA Press and should be available in early 2012. Speaking to the importance of Rolfs, Nacogdoches would not be the same without the influence of Diedrich Rolfs. Uh, he has built over uh, 100 homes and buildings that are still standing. The exhibition will be displayed in the Jack and Doris Ledbetter Gallery, located on the first floor of the Cole Arts Center, through Saturday, January 14th. The exhibition is sponsored in part by the Nacogdoches Junior Forum and the SFA Friends of Visual Arts. In addition to art galleries, starting this semester, the gallery began their first Friday film series, in which they play a movie the first Friday of every month with a free admission to any who wish to attend. For the month of November, the gallery played Herb and Dorothy, and next month on December 2nd at 7 p.m., the gallery will be playing a Christmas story to help capture this Christmas season. The center is open to the public 12.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. Tuesday through Friday and 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturday. Admission is free. For more information, you can contact the Cole Art Center at 936-468-5500 or the SFA School of Art at 936-468-4804. For NAC Edition, I'm Joseph Stepneski. Downtown Nacogdoches is home to many historic buildings and artifacts, but that doesn't mean there's nothing new to see. Located on 205 East Main Street, the Old Town General Store is a local-run deli and gift shop open every day except Sundays. We went there on a busy but fairly normal business day, with people waiting in line to get their order, while store employees were hard at work getting things ready. This is the um, but Old Town General Store isn't totally ordinary. Its meatloaf sandwich, served only on Tuesdays, was featured in a Texas Monthly article in the July 2010 edition, and the store was named Best Caterer in the Eastern Region by Best Industry Awards. We asked a few of the people dining what they liked about the store. Well, I like to eat here. Um, meatloaf sandwich. We call it Meatloaf Tuesdays at the fire station, so, yeah. I come here every Wednesday, they have this special, this chicken salad sandwich special, so I'm here just about every Wednesday. Everything is all good. Uh, sandwiches, uh, the, uh, we had the French dip sandwich, we had the Reuben sandwich, very good. On, on rye, the rye bread, best rye bread I've ever eaten. Yeah, it's all good. We were also able to interview the store owner about some of the history of the store, as well as what her favorite menu item was. My name is Dolly Geierman. I'm the owner-operator at Old Town General Store. It started out as a deli downtown. It was the office deli for about 20 years. And a mother-daughter team bought it, turned it into Old Town General Store, and I purchased it from them three years ago. My favorite thing to eat is the grilled turkey bacon and Swiss. Uh, I put it on the menu after I had been eating it quite frequently. Old Town General Store has specials that rotate every day but are the same every week. The store sells other items from t-shirts to disc golf equipment as well. Dolly Geirman says of the store, It's a fun, friendly environment. Uh, we mix with the community as much as possible. Uh, really try to cater to the community. Hours of operation are from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday and on Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m.
For more information, visit OldTownGeneralStore.com or call 936-560-3210. For NAC Edition, I'm Joseph Stepneski. This is the College of Education here on SFA campus. On the second floor, psychology classes are being conducted like this one by Dr. Jeremy Heider, where the students are going over the difference between implicit and explicit responses, and of course a little bit more about psychology terminology. So it is subconscious is maybe a little too Freudian of a term for my taste. Non-conscious is much more comfortable. The psychology department conducts research in topics ranging from how students perceive rape victims to how students perceive females and males who have lost weight. This research is conducted in the psychology lab, where I wanted to film students taking research over how sex and advertising helps sell products, but I was told... If you're going to videotape uh, someone participating in research, that, that particular participant is going to have to sign a release, because uh, there, there are additional uh, ethical concerns when... Uh, uh, there's videotaping of, of research. So instead, I chose to film myself taking the experiment. Uh, you're going to be showing a PowerPoint slideshow okay. with five images, and they're going to flash by uh, every three seconds. All right. And you're going to rank, rank them from uh, zero to ten being zero, I will not buy this product, to ten being I'm very, I'm very likely to buy this. Okay. Um, you know, flash by every three seconds, so you need to move quickly. Then after that, you can fill out a biographical questionnaire and you're free to go. The experiment asked me for my favorite TV show. I asked Brandon Carpenter, the experimenter, why. It's relevant in the sense of uh, I'm trying to see what kind of ads you're regularly being shown on a daily basis. Any kind of mature te television show will show more sexually appealing ads. Of course, not all psychology experiments are conducted in a lab. Here, Austin Roche is using the Recreation Center to conduct his experiment over... Oh, uh, positive statements affect athletic performance. I would um, give them a motivational statement. Now that you've had one trial and a warm-up trial, you should make even more shots of this trial, I believe, and see if that would help them or if it would hinder them by placing pressure on them to do well. Of course, Austin doesn't actually tell his experiment subjects that this is what the experiment is over. Instead, he tells them this about his experiment. The experiment is looking at how cognitive tasks affect sensory motor performance. So what we're going to have you do is fill out the uh, stress arousal check uh, list, and then we, we, I will give you a, uh, a cognitive uh, set of puzzles. These tasks help distract the subjects so that Austin's experiment can have more accurate results. For NAC Edition, I'm Joseph Stepneski. Located on the first floor of the Math and Nursing Building on the Stephen F. Austin State University campus is the Planetarium. Since opening in 1983, the Planetarium has been presenting both entertaining and educational programs about space to the public. Operated by the Department of Physics and Astronomy, the Planetarium utilizes 30 slide projectors, a CRT video projector, special effects, and a star projector located in the center of the room to display their show on the 30-foot dome above. Is that part you think it's this machine that's uh, right next to me here is called the star, star machine, star projector, and it will put uh, the stars up on the ceiling just like you see at night. And I can take you to any place on the Earth, right, either South America or North America, uh, any time of year, and I can show you the sky and where the planets are located. The Planetarium has shows over all different kinds of celestial formations, from planets and black holes to solar systems. And these shows are geared towards different age groups. All their shows are available for viewing by appointment, but the Planetarium also has shows they run periodically throughout the year. The Planetarium is currently displaying their show, Ringworld. Narrated by John Billingsley, who played Dr. Phlox on the TV show Star Trek Enterprise, this show chronicles one of NASA's current missions, Cassini. Cassini is one of the most ambitious missions ever launched into space. Costing $3.26 billion, Cassini was launched October 15, 1997, for the purpose of exploring Saturn's secrets. The interplanetary voyage to the ring planet took nearly seven years to reach its destination, as it entered Saturn's atmosphere July 1, 2004. Cassini has seven tasks to complete before its currently scheduled 2017 impact with Saturn to complete its journey. Several of these tasks have already been completed, such as the characterization of Titan's surface, when in 2004 Cassini sent a probe into Titan's atmosphere. Ringworld describes the making of the spacecraft, how it and its instruments work, describes the mission in chronological order, 
as well as discussing the planet Saturn, its rings, and its very immense moon system. The show is 40 minutes long and is airing every Friday to the public at 7 p.m. from now up until November 18th. Admission is $2. For more information on the planetarium, you can visit their website at www.physics.sfasu.edu backslash planetarium backslash. For public show information, contact 936-468-3009 or the planetarium at their office at 936-468-3001. For NAC Edition, I'm Kyle Rogers.